Hi, this is Mick Elliott from Electronic Specifier. I am on the Gatwave stand at European Microwave Week and with me is Abbas Vasug, who is the Technology and in Innovations Director at Gatwaves. First, uh, thanks for joining us, Abbas, very much appreciated. First of all, Gat Gatwaves was, uh, if you could give us an overview of Gat Gatwaves and, um, and how the Gatwave Guide technology has evolved over the last few years and maybe some of the applications as well. Yeah, uh, thanks for uh, visiting us in our booth. Uh, uh, Gatwaves uh, uh, is a spin-off uh, from Chalmers uh, Universal Technology. Uh, the headquarters is uh, in Gothenburg. Uh, the late Professor Killar uh, is inventor of the, this technology. And basically, uh, we try to... Uh, uh, this is a new uh, waveguide technology <coughs> that uh, makes uh, uh, the fabrication and the cost effectiveness uh, bring it to the market uh, with our uh, way of manufacturing the, the, the waveguide uh, itself. Okay. And the applications? Uh, basically, it's a the waveguide uh, transmission line and you can use it for different applications from uh, automotive radar, satcom, uh, telecommunication and uh, for different domains uh, like antenna, filter mm -hmm. and packaging. Okay, right. Um, I mean, it's gained a lot of attention, uh, Gatwave technology. What, what, what problems does it solve better than the existing applications out there? Yeah, the, the main two pillars of our technology is cost effectiveness and having high performance. Basically, we're bringing these two uh, the, together with the, the way of manufacturing and or designing our uh, waveguide technology and mixing, uh, making it uh, use of it uh, with different fabrication methods uh, to make a cost effectiveness, uh, cost effectiveness, uh, uh, a cost-effective uh, uh, product. Okay, right, okay. Um, I mean, you're the inventor of a um, multi-layer waveguide. I mean, there's, there's been a big shift there now. What, what problems does it solve that maybe weren't solved before? Yeah, so uh, multi-layer waveguide, we call it MLW, is kind of another uh, variant of our, our uh, uh, waveguide families, uh, which uh, kind of uh, makes the uh, uh, use of uh, different fabrication methods, uh, uh, chemical etching, which is very uh, uh, well uh, established method of fabrication uh, and we are trying to make the uh, waveguide uh, itself very more um, uh, cost effective of course and also uh, very with low profile which makes it very uh, uh, suitable for uh, any application uh, like let's say in the automotive radar that uh, uh, form factor is very important and also having high performance. Okay, you say form factor is very important, that's something that your customers are always looking for, is it? Yeah, of course, it's always is good. Waveguide, uh, in general, is known for, uh, one of the drawbacks of Waveguide is like uh, the bulkiness, but with the MLW, it's kind of, we bring it the same form factor of, uh, uh, say, any macro strip uh, base uh, uh, antenna or a component. Okay. Um, I think recently you've uh, signed a partnership agreement with Infineon. What, what are you looking for there and what, what can be the outcomes for you? Yeah, in general, for example, uh, automotive radar is uh, moving very fast uh, and uh, the chip manufacturing, like Infineon, uh, they're introducing new uh, uh, family of their chipset. Uh, and uh, uh, our waveguide technology is kind of we try to um, uh, uh, be partner with them and uh, make a uh, the demonstrator with them. Uh, and for Infineon case, uh, we they aim for to have a car kit uh, and uh, increase uh, the, uh, the decrease the time of uh, to the market uh, and also uh, reaching to the uh, use of it for OEM and. Uh, uh, tier ones, okay. and we also have a collaboration and a partnership with different uh, all the um, uh, chip manufacturer like uh, Texas Instrument, NXP, Caltera, and uh, others to make sure that uh, our waveguide technology is compatible with uh, uh, their chipset and makes it uh, uh, the time to the market as low as possible. Okay. Would, would you see other collaborations going forward, or Infineon would be the one at the moment? Uh, we actually, as I mentioned, uh, we have a uh, uh, collaboration and partnership with all of the, okay. the main uh, chip manufacturers, okay. Infineon, Texas Instrument, NXP, Caltera, and a few others. Okay. Um, beyond waveguided uh, antennas, what, what other uses can you see for, for wavegap technology? Yeah, so as uh, uh, again, is it, uh, all technologies like a basic transmission line, we can use it for filter, duplexer, uh, 
the packaging solution also, not only antennas. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we are trying to kind of explore the other domains uh, with the research collaboration. Uh, GavWaves has a very uh, deep uh, root in the research and uh, also, so we try to use the, uh, or uh, explore other domains uh, also with our technology. Okay, just uh, just going back to GavWaves, you have a research and the development team in that they're based in Gothenburg, are they? Or? Uh, uh, the main core of the team is in Gothenburg headquarters, mm -hmm. but we have a collaboration with different universities around the world. Uh, and of course, uh, Chalmers is the, or, uh, uh, the uh, biggest uh, partner. Okay, in research. working with universities, is that on different aspects of the technology or, or you know, the whole technology and developing it forward? Uh, whole technology itself and also the application uh, to, to explore ah. different applications, different frequency band. Uh, when you go uh, in higher frequency band, uh, uh, let's say a D band and above 100 gigahertz, the challenge in fabrication, the tolerances and the other things that you don't uh, even consider in low frequency bands shows up. So you need to kind of uh, do other research. Also, uh, let's say, uh, the uh, chipset also needs to also develop in the mm -hmm. high frequency and then we try to kind of co-design the chip active component and the passive component that we, we are providing uh, together to have a uh, ensure high performance. Okay, we're here at, here at the show and I think you did a, you gave a presentation the other day. What's been, what's been the response at the, uh, at the exhibition and the conference? That uh, presentation is today afternoon, oh, but okay. uh, uh, we are going to uh, again um, uh, uh, have an overview of Gaveco technology mm -hmm. and a, a, a kind of industrialization uh, path that we took from uh, research, in mm -hmm. innovation, uh, to the bringing uh, uh, our technology to the market. Let's say mass market of automotive radar. You can see some of our uh, antennas and product that we manufactured during these uh, uh, past years. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You.